All right, guys, here it is. A lot of you have been asking about this lock. It's sold as a high security lock on eBay. The Centurion, now the name surely gives you the idea that this is gonna be a high security lock. 60 millimeter, and I'm looking at this. It's uh, both, of course, in English and in Spanish. And when you flip this over, you got USA. This thing, made in China. Here it is, right there. Made in China written in Spanish for a company that exports out of South Florida, probably for the South and Central American market. But anyway, there's what we got. I got to say the picture looks a little bit deceptive when I get a chance to look at this. This says armored lock, and this, I believe, this orange part is not uh, an additional layer of armor. That's probably just rubber. Um, rubber armor. Let's find out. Anyway, the keys on the back, and when you look at it, it is a five-pinner, at least, not a four-pinner like you would expect, but let's go ahead and cut it open. Let's let's take a take a look at this thing. All right, let's first make sure it works. Kind of stiff, and it does work. Uh, we got dual hasps or dual locking, so or at least uh, it's got cutouts on both sides. So we'll, we'll play around with some shimming. Let's first take a look at the keyway though. It's not a giant keyway, but it's not bad either. So let's go ahead and just try to rake our way into it just to see how, so how high security this thing is. May not be the right one, but it's probably gonna be close enough would be my bet. All right, I'm gonna take a Bogota, slide it in, and just kind of rock it. And there we go. Not so high security. Um, let me go ahead and try to SPP it. I'm not going to use the red one. I'll try the white one because that red one was a little bit wide, I think. Let's see if that will work. That'll work without seizing it up. And I'll just grab the hybrid pick. Let's see if we can get this working. All right, moderate tension. Matter of fact, I'm going to put heavy tension. Let's try to bully it. Trying to force it without breaking the pick, Bill. Without breaking the pick. Okay, I'm gonna have to lighten up. It does. It has bound on me, so getting a little bit of resistance out of it. Very little, but it is working. Doing its job. All right, that, it is resisting, and I think it's just a matter of tensioning. I get caught up on that little, on that uh, rivet there. I'm going to lighten up on the tension this time. May resist being bullied. And then maybe not. All right, I think I actually had it. I think that was hung up on the bottom there. Um, let's just try to lock it again. I'm going to apply moderate tension. Slide the pick all the way in, moderate tension, then just kind of zip it, see if we can get it to cooperate that way. And, of course, it does. All right, last but not least, find a shim here that I haven't bent the heck out of that's going to be long enough. Um, try this guy. First of all, let's find out which side it's going to open from, and we'll just, yeah, so we'll just shim this side first, and if it opens, that tells us that, uh, false advertising again, that they really don't have locking paws on both sides. So let's go with that side. Let me grab another shim here. i got a bunch of new ones up here. I really haven't even had a chance to break yet. All right, so we do apparently have a locking paw on both sides. I mean, let me find another large one. Slide him in the other side. Oh, well, it's tight, and that is definitely plastic. And there we go. 
I would not call this high security, guys. So if you're thinking about buying this as an armored lock, this is truly not armor. This is, there's your armor, off in a flash. This is probably nothing but a fancy master lock. It's not even 60 millimeter, it looks like it's 65, but that doesn't really matter. It's a piece of junk. You know, we could probably shim it from this side too, but this thing's been humiliated in so many different ways already. Let's call it done. Anyway, don't buy it, guys. Stay away from the Centurion 60 millimeter. The model number on eBay is LAM060. Let's call it junk. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Stay away from the Centurion. All right, guys, I usually put this kind of thing in the blog, but this is kind of time sensitive because UK Bump Keys has waited until the last possible minute. And this is this is the afternoon of the 3rd of July. They've just announced they're going to have a 10% sale at their U.S. warehouse, uh, lockpickworld.com. I'll put the discount code at the bottom. They're offering a 10% off. So if you've been waiting to save a little bit of cash on a Praxis kit, this is probably a really good chance to grab one. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in. I'll also put that in the blog along with a couple other sales that are ongoing. Thanks for your time, guys.